If you have swelling in your legs that won't go away, I want you to hear me. It's not just water weight, it's not just aging, and it's definitely not something to ignore. It could be a serious condition called phlebolymphedema, and if you leave it untreated, it will only get worse. This isn't just a cosmetic issue. Phlebolymphedema can cause infections, permanent skin damage, and even painful wounds that take months to heal, if they heal at all. And here's the worst part. Most people, even many doctors, miss this diagnosis. If you've been told it's just swelling or just varicose veins, you need to keep watching. Let me tell you about a patient of mine. I'll call him Tom. Tom was 68, a retired teacher, and he loved spending his mornings golfing. But over the years, his legs had gotten swollen. At first it was mild. His socks would leave those marks on the skin. But then it got worse. His legs felt heavy. His skin became darker and thicker. And his golf game? Well, he ended up giving up golf because just walking the course became painful. He'd seen a few doctors over the years and they told him it was just normal aging or circulation issues. They tried some diuretics, he tried over-the-counter creams, nothing helped. When he came to my office, I recognized it immediately. Tom had phlebolymphedema. His veins were failing, blood was pooling in his legs, creating constant pressure. Over time, that high venous pressure overwhelmed his lymphatic system, the network that normally drains excess fluid. This is the silent progression I see in so many patients. It often starts with seemingly simple varicose veins or chronic venous insufficiency without visible varicose veins. It gets worse when the lymphatic system, which is like the body's fluid drainage system, starts to fail under the pressure. The result? Phlebolymphedema. Persistent, progressive swelling that won't go away. Tom wasn't just dealing with a cosmetic issue. He was at risk for infections, ulcers, and even long-term disability. And the saddest part, he didn't even know this condition existed until I died diagnosed him. That's why I make these videos, because too many people live with phlebolymphedema without knowing what it is, why it happens, or how to manage it. So let's break down this problem into three key things you need to know about phlebolymphedema and exactly what to do about it. What is phlebolymphedema? Phlebolymphedema is a combination of two failures. First, the venous system fails. Normally your veins drain blood back to your heart from your feet and legs, but when those veins weaken, often from age and the valve fail. This is all as a result of genetics or previous blood clots, for example, excessive standing, professional duties, sitting at a desk for many years, blood pools in your legs. This is called chronic venous insufficiency. Now, number two, the lymphatic system fails. The lymphatic system is responsible for draining excess fluid from the soft tissues like the fat and the skin of the legs. And it also has an important immune function by fighting potential infection from bacteria, fungi, and viruses. You've heard of lymph nodes, and that's what you find between these lymph channels. And those lymph nodes contain specialized cells and immune elements that fight off infection. But when the pressure from the venous system becomes too high, the lymphatic vessels get overwhelmed and can't perform either of these functions properly. This dual failure, persistent swelling, heaviness, aching, and thickened skin leads to a chronic problem that brings patients to people like me, experts in the venous and the lymphatic system and the circulation. So again, what does it look like? Well, in the early stage, you'll notice swelling in the ankles or lower legs that improves overnight, but returns during the day. As it progresses, the swelling stops going away, even after rest. The skin becomes darker, thicker, and more leathery. This is from iron staining of the skin and chronic inflammation, something we call hemosiderosis. This can even lead to something called lipodermatosclerosis, which is a thickening and hardening of the skin and soft tissues. In the advanced stage, you may even develop open sores, venous ulcers, or venous leg ulcers. You may also get frequent infections like cellulitis, and in severe cases, even immobility. If you've had varicose veins, deep vein thrombosis, DVT, or long-standing leg swelling, you may already be at risk for phlebolymphedema. Before I share the most effective treatment strategies I use for my patients, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss this kind of information in the future. Every week I post new videos to help you control your health and live better. So how do you treat phlebolymphedema? Well, the earlier you take action, the better. Here's what I recommend to my patients. Number one, compression therapy. Compression stockings or even wraps are the cornerstone of treatment. They can help push fluid out of your legs and prevent blood from pooling in the lower part of the leg, the ankles and the feet. Number 
Number two is leg elevation and exercise. Elevating your legs above the heart level for short periods of time and walking regularly stimulates the calf muscles, which acts like a pump for blood and lymphatic fluid. Number three, manual lymphatic drainage or MLD. This is a specialized hands-on massage technique, if you will, but it's really more of a hands-on physical therapy done by trained therapists to help move lymphatic fluid out of the legs. Number four, this involves procedures for venous disease. As a vascular surgeon, I often perform endovenous ablation or other minimally invasive procedures to close off the bad veins and reroute blood flow. These procedures can dramatically reduce venous pressure and improve swelling by reducing the amount of fluid that collects in the soft tissue and by allowing the lymphatic vessels to work more effectively. And number five is skin care. When the skin is chronically swollen, it becomes fragile and prone to infection. The immune function of the skin becomes deteriorated and it's open to infection and chronic problems. So keeping the skin moisturized and clean reduces the risk of cellulitis. That's an infection of the skin and soft tissue that can make lymphedema much worse. Supplements can also play a role. Micronized purified flavonoid fraction or MPFF helps strengthen vein walls improve venous tone, reduce inflammation, and increase lymphatic flow. This combination of flavonoids is found in citrus fruit rinds. Selenium is a trace mineral with antioxidant properties that supports immune function and helps protect against oxidative stress in tissues affected by chronic swelling. And then of course, there's one of my favorites, vitamin D3, which is critical for immune health and inflammation control, which is particularly important in chronic venous and lymphatic conditions. These aren't magic pills, of course, but they can provide valuable support when combined with medical treatment and lifestyle changes. Here's why you can't wait. The biggest mistake I see, waiting. Flebo lymphedema doesn't stay mild, it progresses. If untreated, it can lead to thickened, leathery skin, recurring infections, painful venous ulcers, that take months, sometimes years to heal, and loss of mobility and independence. But here's the good news. When we intervene early with compression, procedures, supplements, and personalized plan of care, we can slow, stop, or even reverse much of this progression. I've seen patients like Tom go from struggling to walk to being active and confident again, getting back to the golf course and doing all the activities that they love to do because they acted. If you're living with chronic leg swelling, don't ignore it. Talk to a vascular specialist. You deserve answers and a treatment plan that actually work. Hey, if this video helped you, hit the like button and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your experience with leg swelling and what's worked for you. And don't stop here. Watch my video on seven movements for lymphatic drainage. It's packed with strategies that build on what we discussed today. I'm Dr. John Chuback. My mission is to help you understand your health and take control of it. Stay informed, stay proactive, and I'll see you in the next video.